Yo and hello everybody. Welcome to another episode of Showcase Showdown. I'm Mike. That's Chris. You know what we're here to do. We're here to show off our cards. How are you doing, Chris? I'm doing great. I'm I'm ready for the best hour on YouTube. And I'm I'm glad to say that I'm a part of it. And I think this has been fun, except I forgot to wear my Washington Generals uniform because that's what it's felt like for the last four <laughs> times. Uh, you, you're you're kind of just pushing me around like the big brother you are. I don't even know what my lead is right now, honestly. What episode is this? 15, 16, something like that? But, yeah. dude, I it think, has been fun. I think this is actually seven. It might be 17 because I have you down as you're, you have 10 wins and I have six. But there'll be somebody that's watched every one of these that are correct us if I'm wrong. Well, today on the show, we are doing Warren Spawn. Warren Spawn's card career spans from 1948 to 1965. He has 23 cards in the basic set registry for PSA. Those are the cards we're going to use to measure who wins this showcase showdown. Chris, tell everybody the rules and what they can do to play along. Okay, just like I, like I enjoy saying, right now if I'm you, I press pause on this video. And I run to my cards and I get every one of my Warren Spawn cards out. I place them in order from the newest card back to the oldest card. And then I follow along. And you get five points for having just having the card. You get the additional points of the grade. When we get all the way down to the rookie card, which in this turn there's two rookie cards, you get double the points uh, if you have the card and or if you have the card. And uh, at the end, you can see how you do against us because Mike's going to tell me how I did against him. And let's hope it's better news for me this time. Well, I have to admit, I'm a little worried on this one. Um, I'm hoping that my grades help. Uh, but I, I, I want to throw this out there before we get going because I have a, a controversial point to make. You're I gonna, would argue you're that. Pull out Mark, a, oh, go ahead. I, I thought maybe you're going to pull out your 22 autographed Warren Spawns and ask for points for those. Is that what you're going to do? No, no. Um, I would argue and make the case that Warren Spawn only has one rookie card. You said two. I think 48 Bowman is his rookie card. I think 49 Leaf should not count as a rookie card and should be included just as a regular card now you know how a stickler i am with rules right <laughs> which is to say you're not yes <laughs> uh but you know if we go by the psa set registry and when you look up hall of fame post-war rookie hall of famers and you look up warren spawn does it or does it not say that he has two rookie cards it does say that. That doesn't mean I agree with them. And this is your show and your game. Uh, but I think, well, I think it, we ought to wait until we get down to the end. And if you don't have the card. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, all right. Uh, Warren Spawn, it goes without saying that he was, he's one of the greatest pitchers of all time. And I don't think that's an overstatement of, his impact, his career, uh, most wins by a left-hander, I think, still, even today. And at the time that he retired from baseball, he had the most strikeouts of any left-hander. Uh, Passed by Steve Carlton and Randy, Randy Johnson. And yeah. C.C. Sabathia. Yeah. Uh, a few of them. But, uh, you know, he, what, he, he had eight times, I guess, he had over 20 wins and, and, you know, he's a World Series champ. He's a uh, – one of the things I thought was interesting, he was Cy Young Award winner. And then when he played, there was only one winner for both leagues. And I think he finished like runner-up three different times that if they had Cy Young in both leagues, he would have won. But, uh, you know, uh, I know you like this, but he's a decorated war veteran, um, Purple Heart recipient. Uh, just you could you could just go on and on. Yeah, what a just an amazing career. 
he also spans that career in cardboard from right after post-war, like literally all the way through the mid sixties. And so you get so many great years of cards that have a Warren Spawn card. And he was also, at least in his early years, you know, both a Bowman and a Topps guy. So he, he played both sides of that, which just means there's more cards, which is great uh, to have more Warren Spawn available to you. Nothing wrong with that. So uh, you're the visitor today. We're going to start with 1965 Topps. As we go along, we'll uh, show our cards and add up the grades. Here we go. Okay, so the 1965 uh, is – we're starting off with one of the cards that I like the least of Warren Spawn, and I bet he does too, but he's smiling real big but not wearing a hat. The 65, and I have a PSA 5. Okay, I have a PSA 6. I love that – He's with, first of all, he's with the Mets and he's listed as both a pitcher and a coach, right? I think that's very cool about that card. Um, all right, I'm gonna stop it here. We're gonna fin this is that's the end of today's showcase showdown because I have a lead and uh, I'm sorry, Chris, technical difficulties. I can't go on from here. Uh, now let's see how I do. Well, I I'm think not confident. Uh, okay, so I've been collecting him for, you know, a long time. I, I hadn't had his run finished, but my cards are going to reflect that they're my old cards. So I think you got to – I know what kind of cards you have. So I think you well, got a really super chance. Yeah, I, I've never done a show a showcase of my spawn cards because I don't have a complete run, but we'll get there. Uh, I do have a 64 tops, which I do like this card a lot. Very, you know, just clean. The colors, I love it. I, I have a PSA 5. Now, see, you're already taking a huge lead because I have a SGC 2. Let me get us into showdown mode there. Okay. Oh, yeah. That makes everything. People can see the cards better. Yeah, they don't need to see us. That's true. Okay. Uh, next up is 63 Fleer. You're up first. 63 Fleer. I have... A PSA six. Well, there went my lead because I don't have that card. That's a that's a beautiful card, and it I can it's easy to forget about that card being part of his run too. Yeah, beautiful cards though. And you had a six in that. Good grief! I, I did. All right, I think I'm going to be looking at you from behind the rest of this showdown. Uh, Sixty three tops. She also has. I love this card. I have a PSA six, and I have a PSA six. Nice. It's a, it's a good looking card too. Very good looking card. Okay, the nineteen sixty two. This is my better cards of uh, Warren Spawn. I have it in a PSA seven. Wow. I have a six and a half. So. Wow. Okay. See? Good stuff. Nice. Your lead grows. All right. 61 tops. It's funny. The grades of mine are very consistent in the same range. Uh, I have a PSA 5 in his 61. Yeah. You pick up one on me here. Isn't that a beautiful card, though? Both those cards are just beautiful. I'm just glad he's wearing a hat. That's that's all I'll say about that. Uh, I'm just happy that he's wearing a hat on that one. 1960. I have an SGC 5. And I have a PSA 6. Those are just beautiful cards. Yeah, that's a good one. You're going to pick up some points on me here. Well... 59 tops. Apparently, there's multiple versions of this card. I have the one that's born in 1921, which would make Warren Spawn, if he was born in 1921, 103 years old today. Uh, but I have a PSA 6. Can you add these together for me? I got a 2 and a 1. So give me a 2. I have a 2. Okay, 2 so it you is. Have quite a bit of points there. Yeah, again, I'm going to have to 
really do it on this next one. All right, 58. 58. That's a beautiful card. I have a PSA 4. Well, that's better than me. Mine is actually at PSA right now being graded. Um, I do have an autographed version of that card. I didn't grab it. I should have. Um, well, I trust that you but do. But I only get, I only get five points for that. I've got a zero and I've got a five so far. Um, all right, 57. I do have another good, you know, just smiling more and spawn there. I got a PSA five. I have a three and the price tag of the card. Nice. Spawn stuff, not crazy expensive, is it? No, no, it it's not. It's it's uh, you can get some nice cards for relatively, you know. I don't. Again, you and I talk about this. He's part of that group that gets a little bit underappreciated at times until you really want to research him. Uh, you know, he's kind of stuck in there with the Frank Robinsons of the world and that kind of stuff. But yeah, but boy, this next card's a beautiful card. Next two cards. Just love them. But this uh, 1956 sideways card, I have an SGC6. That's pretty good. I have a PSA6. Okay. Two good-looking cards. Wow. Yeah. A six, 56s and 6s just look really good, you know? Um, all right. We are at the, about the halfway point. Do you want to know where we stand? Yeah, it's kind of we're we're pretty well locked up here, pretty close. Well, you're at 105, and I am at 101.5. So you now, have a three and a half point lead currently. You might have to get your you might have to get your dog and put it on your lap here because right now <laughs> there's there's a bunch of people watching this that are leaning toward this screen cheering me on right now. I just so you might want to get your dog, set him on your lap to get some of that sympathy vote. Look, Chris, there's all three people that are rooting for you right now. I'm not worried about them. All right. Uh, 1955, another gorgeous card. Again, his cards. I, I love the logo on this. I love the color scheme of the 55. I have a PSA three. I have a PSA four, but keep your card up there. And you know, it's hard to compare to my card because it's not looking so good on the screen. But you got borders all the way around that thing. Yeah. And, and you know, mine's a little bit shortcut up there at the top. I, I like the way your card looks. Yeah. There's, again, it's there's they're all good, right? But you had a four. Yep. All right. that's, that's how we play. Now, the 54s, that's – if you, uh, you know the 54 cards, he's got some 54s and some other sets that really, really look good. And before we show any, you mind if I show the, the yeah, red go ahead. I'm going to show this red heart. And that's to me, that's just that's a beautiful set and that's a beautiful card. And then the other one I want to show you might, uh, you might appreciate this as well this Johnson cookies. Love that. And uh, I just picked this up this year at a show. Uh, had went up there with a buddy named Tom to St. Louis, and he he was going to pull the trigger on it, but he told me where it was, and we were having a little bit of fun. And I went and picked it up, unbeknownst <laughs> to him. And I have the card, so he's getting to see it now on TV. So I have the Red Heart Raw, um, and I regret not sending it in for my last PSA submission but i'll do another one i'm sure so sure okay now you're going to pick up some points on this one the 54 tops warren spawn one of my favorite cards but i will not get rid of this card i have it you just give me a five on this one because it's a one mk okay well i have a five so you just closed the gap i just took the lead actually I like um, my version better. It'll be short-lived. Uh, 53 Bowman Color. So he's got cards in both the 53 tops. Again, I would argue 53 is the best year of cards ever because you had 53 Bowman Color was so awesome and 53 tops was awesome. 
but uh and it's the height of the competition right it's like this is you know bowman and tops are at each other's throats i have a psa4 in the bowman color who have a psa6 miscut okay so ty you could argue mine's miscut look look at my borders are not great you know <laughs> So that's a tie. Yeah. All right. 53 top. You're up. Oh, gosh. You're going to expand your lead. I don't know. You don't know. You don't know what I have. I got a 53 and a one. Okay. I'm going to expand my lead. Um, I have a four. But great card, right? Beautiful card. Again, that Braves logo is just so awesome. All right, 52 Bowman. I can't remember where I got this. I remember I paid up for it because uh, I have a PSA 6. God, I, you, you're, getting, you're killing me. I'm blowing my lead. I have a 2.5. Okay. Now, if you have this card, you're really going to – you're going to get it to where I can't come back. Uh, on the 52 tops, I have a PSA 1 or SGC 1. Um, well, I have a PSA 3. That yeah. is, gosh, doesn't that just pop? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Just, would you have a 1? Oh, you didn't hear me. I uh, 4, if you didn't hear me. <laughs> right. uh, or uh, a 1. I had a 1. All right. So now we're at 51. 51 Bowman. 51 Bowman. I have a PSA 4. Okay. I also have a PSA 4. I get the, the great leg kick. You know, it's, that's such a cool card. All right. Um, God. 51 tops red back. Yeah. PSA one. Well, that's better than me not having it. So I get a zero. You might want to go over and see how close we are now. Is this going to be the closest one ever for Maybe. us? We've had, some, we've had some close ones. It's I'm winning 165 and a half. You have 162 and a half. Hmm. Hmm. Golly. Well, you yep. got to come back to the to the group here. All right, fifty Bowman. I don't have it. I have a two point five. Hey, put that one next to the fifty one Bowman because I love how I just love how it's always the same. Yeah. Sorry. About I'm going to teach you. I'm going to teach you card showing off one hundred and one. We're going to do a class after this episode, so I can get. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Well, you're well, going to. You just took the lead. Okay. Let's hope I can keep the lead. All right. 49 Bowman. Now, I have a fairly good one here. I have a PSA 5. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty good because I don't own that card at all. You, you hear those people cheering? You better grab that <laughs> dog. Better grab that dog. All three of them. Like I that's said, that's a beautiful card right there. It really, that's something I need. I need to finish his run. And yeah. That, and I tell you that that's, that's a good one to look for kind of a mid grade because it's, I mean, a mid grade is just beautiful. And I just, you're not going to break the bank on that one. And, and, you know, you, you're going to, you're going to walk into that this year. You're going to walk into one this year. Uh, I don't have the 49 leaf either. So you do. I don't think we're going to need to count that as a rookie because I think uh, you're going to beat me. Okay. Oh, uh, great. You can hear it now. It's like now you're about to take just a nice, easy jog around the bases after hitting a home run. Boy. 48 Bowman. I have a PSA 3. I'm just happy to be able to participate again. 
Yeah. And I, like it should be on this particular Warren Spawn, I have a PSA 4. Nice. Yeah. How do you how do you like those 48 black and whites? You know? uh, they're okay. You know, again, just coming out of the war, or at least in terms of card production, right? Um, they're okay. Yeah, I, don't I really, I like that spawn in that. I mean, it's, um, we had, we did this in our rookie cards and I was talking about how my mom used to say, thought he was a turtle in that, but those, you know, in that, in that set, there's three big cards in there that everybody, if you're a vintage collector, you just appreciate. And that's that Musial and the Barra. I like, you know, I like, I like those particular cards. Yeah. And, and our buddy, uh, Dave, he and his dad extended that version, right? And, and no, that was the 53 Bowman that Black was and 53 White. 53 Bowman Black and White. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But beautiful cards. Tell us the score, Mike, and tell it loud so everybody in the back room, back of the room can hear. Um, oh, I I don't have it for some reason. That's a shame. No, uh, 204 for you, 181 and a half for me. You are off the schneid. The winning streak is over for me. Congratulations. I have forgotten what this feels like. I mean, <laughs> I have I have not returned your calls. You know, I don't answer my phone when you call. I've been going to a therapist for the last four weeks, and now I'm I'm back. I am back. I, I I'm devastated, honestly. I on I, once I knew I didn't have like five of the cards. That that's so devastating in this game. Oh, not sure. having the cards just crushes you because you you don't even get five points for having it. And I I don't know what to tell you. Um, well, let's go to the – maybe we can get some redemption in the wheel. Let's see if I can get something good to come out of today. Let's look at the wheel of names, see who we got here. We got we still got Banks and Mantle and Mays and Brett and lots of great names. Mutual. I thought we did stand mutual. Maybe not. It's, it's um, still the most. It's still my most nervous five minutes of the week, right here. <laughs> two minutes. Two minutes of the week, right here. Well, here we go. We're going to spin the wheel and see who will be the player showcased on next week's showcase showdown. Ooh, Eddie Matthews. Nice. That is funny. That is funny. Teammate of Warren Spawn, ironically, right? That is correct. And another one that kind of is in the group of maybe not getting his dues as far as in the collecting world and the, even now in the in the Hall of Fame kind of world, but a but a very good one to a very good one to do. Well, that'll be fun. Um Lots of cool stuff to talk about with Matthews, especially when it relates to cards, because I think he's, well, we'll get to that next week. But uh, Chris, enjoy the victory lap. Uh, you know. I have to call some friends and let them know, make sure they, they've watched this, and maybe I might watch it two or three times myself. <laughs> Just make sure you watch the ads, okay? <laughs> Everybody, if you are watching, thanks so much for tuning in this week, every week. Uh, please hit that like button. Would really appreciate that if you enjoy what you're seeing here. And if you enjoy Chris's victory, hit the like button. Uh, and if you enjoy seeing me lose, hit the like button. All right, guys. <laughs> we'll talk to you all next week. Have a great one. Keep collecting. Thanks, Mike.